On March 2nd, 2025, Firefly Aerospace shocked National Aeronautics and Space Administration with a moon landing. That made history. Blue Ghost, a lander as big as a hippopotamus, touched down in Mare Crisium, and National Aeronautics and Space Administration cheered. A treasure trove of data for decades, said Nikki Fox from the Science Mission Directorate. But behind this triumph lurks a $200 million secret that overshadows everything. Rockets, moon landers, a Ukrainian investor who was thrown out of his dream for a dollar. A bit of geopolitical madness, this is Firefly. Today we're breaking down the story. Why was National Aeronautics and Space Administration so impressed and what explains this $200 million mystery? Buckle up, we're leaving. It's going to get a bit technical and a little bit dark. If that sounds too wild to believe, stay tuned. We're digging deep from engines to tragedy, and we'll show you a landing video that will take your breath away. Firefly Aerospace didn't just jump to the moon out of nowhere. Their story is a roller coaster of visions, bankruptcies, and a geopolitical drama that makes even Hollywood jealous. Firefly Space Systems was founded in 2014. A bunch of engineers wanted to make space affordable with the Alpha rocket, a sleek beauty designed to carry 1,000 kilograms of payload into low Earth orbit. With a small team, they built prototypes in garages, but by 2016, the dream was over. Bankrupt. Too much ambition. Not enough money. A classic stardust and empty wallet case. And this is where it gets interesting. The 200 million secret that almost destroyed Firefly. In 2007, the reboot came under Max Polyakov, a Ukrainian tech visionary with a penchant for cosmic dreams. He invested $200 million and secured 58% of the company to finish Alpha, plan the larger beta rocket, and open space travel for everyone. By 2022, reality hit. Russia's impending invasion of Ukraine made him a security risk for the United States. The Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, or CFIUS for short, forced him to give up his share. Imagine that, $200 million, a life's work, and gone for a single dollar. A deal that tastes like moon dust and bitterness with a hint of cold diplomacy. A few days later, on February 24, 2022, Russia invaded. But Firefly survived under new management and chief executive officer Jason Kim since October 2024. Alpha's journey was bumpy. The first launch ended in a rapid, unscheduled disassembly after two and a half minutes. A fireworks display that nobody ordered, with clouds of smoke darkening Vandenberg. The second flight, October 1st, 2022, reached orbit. But a control error caused three satellites to drift into the wrong orbit. A small consolation prize. On July 3rd, 2024, the breakthrough was achieved with the noise of summer mission for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Eight CubeSats on target. Then came Fly the Lightning in December 2023 with five satellites for Lockheed Martin and Victus Knox on September 14th, 2023 for the Space Force. The success rate. Two full successes in 2024 and 2023, two partial successes in 2022 and 2021, about 50% payload. Success. The next mission is set for March 2025. Alpha will fly while Firefly keeps dreaming. Was Polyakov's forced sale justified or a paranoid move by the United States of America? Write your theories in the comments. Let's see what he himself had to say about it. On February 16th, 2022, he posted on Facebook when he gave up his 58% share. Dear Cepheus, Air Force and 23 United States agencies that have betrayed me for 15 months. I hope you are satisfied. History will judge you. Max loves Ukraine. I am Firefly's founder and have a passport. Bye, my bird. I'm proud of my work. A bit of farewell, but proud. Fair or forced, what do you think? Let's get to the heart of Firefly's technology, a dance of engineering and pragmatic madness. 
The Alpha Rocket, a two-stage workhorse, stands 29.5 meters tall and delivers 1170 kilograms of payload to low Earth orbit, soon to be 1300 kilograms with an upgrade. Its skeleton made of carbon fiber composites makes it light but robust, with a 2.2 meter fairing for the payload. Powered by four Weaver 1 engines in the first stage, each with 180 kN of thrust and a lightning engine in the second stage, it uses rocket propellant 1 and liquid oxygen. Firefly's responsive space concept promises rapid launches for small satellites, while others burn billions on Mars dreams. The third flight, Victus Knox, on September 14, 2023, proved that with a 24-hour record, including a Stage 2 relight, Fly the Lightning launched in December. In 2023, five satellites were delivered for Lockheed Martin and Firefly Plans, another mission in March. 2025, so soon. Then there's Blue Ghost, Firefly's ticket to the moon, landing on March 2, 2025 via National Aeronautics and Space Administration is Commercial Lunar Payload Services or Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program. The launch took place on January 15, 2025 at 1.11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Kennedy Space Center on a SpaceX Falcon 9. Alpha lacks the power for lunar missions. It's a practical compromise. After 2.8 million kilometers and 45 days of transit, Blue Ghost landed on March 2nd, 2025 at 3.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Mare Crisium near mons la Trail. A 100-meter target hit with surgical precision. Mare Crisium, that dark spot in the northeastern quadrant when viewed from the north, is Blue Ghost's stage. The mission lasted 14 days, one lunar day, and continued into the lunar night before the lander switched to monument mode on March 17, 2025. Blue Ghost carries 150 kilograms of payload, including 10 National Aeronautics and Space Administration pilots. What were this lunar mission's highlights? On March 2, 2025, Blue Ghost landed with National Aeronautics and Space Administration science and technology demos. The mission ended March 16, 2025. A record as the longest commercial lunar surface mission so far. National Aeronautics and Space Administration is still analyzing 119 gigabytes of data, including 51 gigabytes of science data. A treasure that could accompany humanity for decades, as Nikki Fox from National Aeronautics and Space Administration emphasized. All 10 payloads worked flawlessly, even during a lunar eclipse and a sunset filmed in high definition beta. In development, it is designed to carry up to 8 tons. A larger version of Alpha could elevate Firefly to the heavyweight league. From Alpha to Blue Ghost, Firefly delivers big results on a small budget. Game changer or dust collector? What do you think? Firefly shows that you can revolutionize space travel with brains. Alpha and Beta for small players and Blue Ghost for National Aeronautics and Space Administration's moon plans. Now comes the moment you've been waiting for. Blue Ghost's landing video, get ready. This is no ordinary footage. On March 2nd, 2025, after a 16-day orbit and a precise descent orbit insertion, the lander touched down gently. Cameras recorded sunrise in Mare Crisium. One, dust swirls in a cosmic dance, earth in the sky, horizon glowing. This video is one of the best we've ever seen. Clearer than Apollo, more dynamic than China's Chang'e and stronger than intuitive machines. You can see how the four shock-absorbing legs cushion the impact, how the dust dances, and how Blue Ghost remains stable with elegance. It's not just technology, it's art. A masterpiece of space travel. And Blue Ghost is just the beginning. Firefly plans Blue Ghost 2 for 2026 on the moon's far side, a risky mission, and Blue Ghost 3 for 2028 at the Gruithuizen domes both for National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Artemis program. With 8.2 million in funding from the Texas Space Commission and Chief Executive Officer Jason Kim since October 2024, the dream keeps growing. What does that mean for Firefly's role in new space? Firefly goes beyond technology. It's also a lesson in geopolitics, economics and sociology. Geopolitically, Polyakov's expulsion echoes the Cold War version 2.0. 
Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022 made him a security risk, and the United States acted precisely. The Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States forced him to give up his 58% stake for $1. A blow that tastes of power politics. But Firefly kept going, showing resilience, proof that new space survives crises. Economically, Firefly is an underdog with potential. The $93 million commercial Lunar Payload Services deal for Blue Ghost plus $8.2 million from Texas are just the beginning. And an initial public offering? An initial public offering after Blue Ghost's triumph could free up a lot of money for beta or lunar missions. Fits for a company in the fast lane. But private investors also offer money with more flexibility without market pressure. After this coup, investors are likely to be lining up. Freedom or reach? What will Firefly choose? What do you think? Initial public offering or not? Firefly rose from bankruptcy to a moon landing, showcasing technology, politics, and relentless ambition. Blue Ghost won with a video that made history. Alpha is flying with steady progress, and Beta is waving on the horizon. A mission for you. Mars Chronicles has reached 20,000 subscribers. Thank you all. The next goal is 50,000. If these deep dives spark your curiosity, subscribe to the channel and sign up for our newsletter at Mars Chronicle Space, supported by Planet Pioneers. In the shop, snacking on starships, new designs every four weeks, codes in video description, previews, Patreon, or channel memberships. Thanks to all our fuel cells. My name is Serwan, this was Mars Chronicles. Thanks for tuning in, per aspera ad astra.